Dan Hoffman. I'm a sculptor. I mainly work in public space. Mostly inspires me are things from a daily base, things that I find, see, material, but also things from nature, like leaves or branches. For almost five years, I got questions for making a panda. The panda is this really special creature. They are treated like princes and princesses. That's what triggered me. Uh, so they don't have to do anything. They can lie down on their back and be pretty. From the very beginning, it was really uh, uh, obvious that I was um, uh, sketching and, and, and making a, a work where the panda would lie on its back. I believe one of the first sketches was the panda lying down and had a like a mirror in its hand and being vain and looking at itself and, and be pleased about itself. The mirror uh, got um, uh, traded by the phone, so it could take a selfie. And then the element of, of humans uh, interacting, sitting, standing next to this big head of, uh, uh, of, of the panda, taking selfies, that made the whole circle round about being vain. Well, I think the challenge in the first place was that I wanted it an even bigger panda. Uh, so, so I always try to search for the, the biggest scale. Uh, but I think we found a really nice scale where uh, the hairs, the tactile bit of the whole work, comes out really nice. And they feel like hairs, they look like hairs. This is one thing, particularly in China, where normally people are not allowed to touch artworks. Mm. I wanted to make a work which was able to touch and to, mm. to be tactile. I think it's over like three million hairs, which had to be put in one by one. So um, respect for the production. I remember Dane doing the last check for me with a phone and, and Sam, I believe Dane was on the phone and Sam was filming the details and I was saying, ah, just go to the ears, or just go to the eyes and uh, let me have a check. I think the role of public art right now is that if people are allowed to go outside and be outside, that, that they have the possibility to see sculpture and be amazed, you know, be, be triggered, see something that they don't see in, in their small daily life right now. I think the responsibility of us to, is to create really good works. Art is all about getting uh, emotions, you know. You meet other people and, and you can discuss and relate to each other and relate to the work and relate to, you, to your public space. In, embrace uncertainty. And especially during this situation of, of COVID, of course, you don't know what will happen. You don't know when it will happen. But one thing you know, that if you are a creative, if you're an artist, that you want to create. And even when there's no audience or public, you have to do it. The urge is there. Don't uh, withhold and uh, just go for it and, uh, and, and, and embrace that uncertainty of, of, of uh, not only if it will resonate and if it will be seen, but also if your work, your next work um, will be good. You just have to do it and, uh, and, and, and continue.